on my chair and talk to you guys because I, d I really like to. I mean, yeah. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about BoxyCharm. It's actually a subscription service I've tried out for, I think, two months already. I actually do really enjoy some of the products that they send me. Pretty much you pay $21 every month and they'll send you from a 5 to 7 full size items of like new makeup or just high end makeup. I actually got like a NARS nail polish in the old one, well the previous one, which I thought was really really cool. And um, I'm really excited. Okay, I actually peaked, so I kind of know. Okay, I actually tried some of these products. Why am I lying to you guys? Anyway, I really like to try things out before I let you guys know about them. So, yeah. So, every box has a different theme and bow. And this one, they decided to go with like a fuchsia pink. So, this is what you get. And you always receive this postcard. It always lets you know what the theme is. Pretty much, this theme is strike a pose. It's... It says the weather's warming up and it's time to go out on the town and strike a pose. Towards the back of the card, it always lets you know what you get and also the full price of the product. So I'll let you guys know that. The first thing that caught my attention was the Cool Way Finishing Oil. So I actually just use this as kind of some oil to add some shine. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm wearing it right now. And I really like how silky it feels. I just do really recommend you guys to add at least like a dime size little portion of this because I don't like to put product that makes my hair feel really like heavy after a while if that makes sense go flat and I don't like that but yeah pretty much I followed the directions I got a dime size portion started from the bottom now I'm here that was really lame I know but I mean it makes sense um you don't really want to add it directly to your scalp because that's just gonna make your hair um greasier I guess or oilier I don't know but Nobody likes that. Nobody. It feels really weird. And this product retails for $29.95, which you already got your money's worth. The next thing I got is the Model Co. Blush. And I actually tried this blush maybe like two days ago. It is very, very pigmented. And I think it's such a really pretty bright blush to add on your cheeks. Obviously, just dab a little. The color to this is Cosmopolitan 1. And I'm going to show you guys how pigmented that is. Yeah, it's quite pigmented, so a uh, little goes a long way with this one. But I think it's a fun color to have if you're going for a fresh, natural look. So I actually got one of these lipsticks in my previous boxes, and I was, like, really shocked that it was that pigmented and vibrant. I probably, again, with the packaging, would not go for it if I ever saw it, but the pigment is, like, really good. So this is it. And I'm not sure if this is is supposed to have like a matte finish but it looks like it might have a really really low shine resolution I guess um anyway I really like the colors that they're offering in this box because it's very spring friendly this lipstick goes on retail for $19.90 wow the next thing I got was a nail polish this one is in the color it doesn't say there hmm, doesn't have a color interesting oh Oh, it's in the color aqua teal. I personally am not much of a big fan of this color, but my sister is, so she'll totally love this. It's by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Um, I have not yet tried this. I'll probably keep you guys posted. If I really, really do love it, I'll obviously post it on my Instagram page, so check that out. But um, this one retails for $15, which is actually what most nail polishes retail in Sephora. My expectations for this are pretty damn high. The last thing in the box, I got five items, is a Monaco eye pencil. Oh, I'm excited. And the color black. Oh, I like black eyeliner. Can you guys tell? I kind of went a little overboard with my eyeliner. I never do crazy eyeliner, but I was just feeling it. Okay, so this pencil has a built-in sharpener, which I think is really, really, really cool and very convenient. Okay, so it's really creamy and it glides on really nice. I just want to see if it's smudge proof. No, it is not smudge proof. I actually really like how creamy this is because I hate adding a really dry eyeliner to my waterline. It just kind of makes my eyes water up a little more than they usually do. And this retails for $18. So all these products you guys can find on a website. They're like, I guess, online stores. And I'll have them linked down below as well. 
Overall, I could tell the box was really spring friendly and I can tell I'm going to use some of the products on any further videos. But I hope this video maybe helped you or encouraged you to subscribe to their subscription service. Again, $21 a month and you get 5 to 7 full size items, sometimes high end, sometimes not. But I mean, nonetheless, they give good pigmented makeup. So I recommend it for any vlogger or just any person that loves to try new makeup. And I hope you guys go ahead and check them out. So that was that for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I miss you guys so much. I swear to you. Just in case you guys were wondering. Okay, bye guys.